Ah, hello. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Were you the one who went before me? I did not. Um, I actually didn't check who was going before me. I only went to check who's going after. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> Hello, I wasn't expecting you so early. I thought I had like a few more minutes. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Hello, Mimo. I was hoping I would have until like nine on the dot because I need to run ads. <laughs> <laughs> but hello did you have a good stream what did you play you're playing labyrinth i haven't played it i hear it's um has something to do with puzzles was it i was looking at my stream clock no worries <laughs> absolutely terrifying what is it um i know you have to solve puzzles but what's the objective of the game Puzzles and mazes. I would not do well in a maze. I'm not built for that. I would get lost so quickly. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why do you have to do this to me right now? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, but yeah. Apologies, but in a few minutes, I'm going to be forced to run an ad break because I have that auto ad thing set up and every time I start a stream I have to run an ad I don't know the objective but it's monsters and stuff oh, okay I'm assuming is it you have to escape I don't know I do know it's co-op though I see some like some of the people I follow play it Yes, um, I didn't pick anything scary because um, <laughs> I contemplated about it, but I was like, I don't know. I didn't want to put myself under that stress. And then I saw that there was a dating sim in one of the lists and I'm like, I can't pass that up. So I'm going to run the ads now. Ow, don't <laughs> cheese me. That's going to be three minutes. Because three minutes of ads gives you an hour free of pre-rolls? What is it? Oh, thank you for the follow, Val. <laughs> but yes, apologies. I'm going to be running the ads. So you guys will be potentially watching them for three minutes, depending on how on you, heavy what Twitch on decides. One. Thank you for the follow, Bear. <laughs> Chiro dousing me with the redeems right now. <laughs> Okay, while that's going, I'm going to set up the game. I did run each game I picked to make sure that it was working properly. Um, so I also sincerely hope that none of the music is like copyrighted. Because <laughs> one of them is like some, it sounds like it could be the opening of some anime. And I'm like, I don't know if it was made for this game or not. No, why are you making me bald? It's okay. I have a hat. It'll hide. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run the game. You should hear it, probably. I really hope this was made for the game and it's not copyrighted. <laughs> uh, what was it? I gotta move myself. Hold on. I take up too much screen space. Okay. I don't know how long this game is going to be. It's supposedly an hour of gameplay, but I don't know if that is one route or all the routes combined. So we'll see. Um, I don't know who I'm going to gravitate towards. All I know is that you are a cat <laughs> and everyone else is some like witch or warlock and you try to romance them as far as I can tell. But I saw a dating sim and my brain was immediately like, I'm not gonna lie though, this music is really bopping. And <laughs> so I'm really hoping this is not copyrighted. I did look in the preferences, there is a voice volume. So I'm assuming there's voice acting at some point, so I'm kind of, um, I'm very interested. 
I don't know if the entire game's voice acted. Because I was assuming maybe only certain parts, and then the rest would just be me. You would be stuck with me reading. Okay, one another minute of ads. Time moves by so slowly sometimes, doesn't it? I know there's six, um, what do you call them? Whatchamacallit? I guess love interests? There's six of them. Three female, three male. And I don't know who I'm gonna go with. I kind of, there was one person I was gravitating towards, but I think I'll have to play and see how everyone is first before I decide really. I think audio is fine. I don't think the game is too bad. Tech speed is good. But yeah, um... I actually really don't know what this game is about other than the fact that it's a dating sim. <gasps> Welcome back from the ad break. So this is a dating sim. Uh, music is bopping. I'll give it that. I wasn't expecting... The music to be so good. <laughs> Thank you for the boot. But we're gonna start. Are you lost, little kitty? Who could leave such an adorable kitten out here? Mm, ah, it seems like you're a... Am I a masculine cat or am I a feminine cat? I don't know. I'm feeling a little feminine today. Are you lost? Do you have an owner? <laughs> Swipe your paw at her or meow? Meow! I am a meat popsicle? That I am. Although... No, no, I am always cold, so you know popsicle is on brand. Uh, what am I doing? Trying to communicate with the cat. I'll keep you in the meantime, until we can find your owner. However, if it turns out that you're just a stray after all... <laughs> Thank you for the cake. <laughs> this has always been my dream. I've always wanted a cat, right? And then like, it's always been like a dream of mine as a child to be like, oh my God, what if one day I found a, a stray cat and I brought it home? But I know that my mom would kill me if I did that. Besides, I don't think I've ever really come across a stray animal in real life, not where in the area I live. It's just not a common thing. I do see a lot of missing cat posters, though, of people losing their cats. <laughs> What's that face for? <laughs> I suppose you'll have no choice but to stay with me. Isn't that right? <laughs> what shall I name you in the meantime? What's my name? My name is Shufflebutt. I didn't intend for this to be my go-to name, but that's okay. Oh, I know. I'll call you Shufflebutt. Let's get you to my abode now. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm in danger? Episode 1. <laughs> I'm getting it egged, thank you. I needed some more calcium. What, what, what just happened? I gave you food and now you're... a human being? Well, I'm a lot more human than you, apparently. Who the hell feeds a cat mushrooms? Do I look rich to you? A grateful cat. That's all I have to eat. <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> I can be so mean. I'm sorry, I'll be grateful. Protein? Yes. <laughs> That's more like it. Treat your owner with more respect. <laughs> owner? Since when did you own me? What's with that reaction? Anyone would love to be owned by me. Rephrase that. <laughs> You'll be biting your tongue once I form my biggest cult ever. Oh, I can't wait to finally have people worship me. What's a cult? Some kind of food? Every key up a bot. I can't English. Every creature in this region is well aware of a cult's influence. It's practically the sign of a witch's status. 
There are only so few cults that have over hundreds of followers, and the only warlock who has ever gotten that far is the Black Mage. Before he suddenly vanquished one day, he promised to resurrect the God of Death, and to this day his cult still believes that he will soon appear and lay truth to his claim. Wow. I really don't care. <laughs> I know I'm a cat, but why am I so mean? <laughs> still, it's rare for creatures to not know the basics of a cult. Are you even from around here? I'm not sure, to be honest. I have a few vague memories, but it's all blurry. Uh, I definitely had a home before. I remember that much. How disappointing. Black cats are super rare in this part of the region. I would be a fool to give you up so easily. What are you planning? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to strike a deal with you. Huh? I will help you find your owner if you help me advertise my cult. But if we don't find your owner in one month, then you're mine. D don't I get a say in this? We're getting up bright and early tomorrow. That's how every cult hunt becomes successful. Oh yeah? How many people are in your cult already? Two. Including you. Hell no. <laughs> the next morning comes and Priscilla and Shufflebutt begin to make their rounds through town. Didn't you say this cult hunting crap is always successful? So why has everyone been slamming the door in our faces for the past half hour? Today has been successful. People don't normally answer the door for me. Consider this our win. What do the posters even say? Shufflebutt snatches one of the flyers to read. Join my cult today. Benefits? Worshipping me. This flyer is terrible. <laughs> you know what? I'm proud of you. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. Though if we keep being successful like this, someone might end up calling Brew at this rate. Brew? Uh, I don't know who this is. It stands for the Brigade of Real Elite Witches. That's the first time I've heard someone ask about them. How long have you been under a rock? Uh, I've slept under a rock before. Um, uh, I'm not from around here. This is the more funny option. It- Is that so? Shufflebutt isn't from this town. Sounds about right. Although we don't get many outsiders in here often. Saros, I'd like to properly introduce you to my new pet, Shufflebutt. Rephrase that. Uh, uh, right. Nice to meet you, Shufflebutt. Saros is my closest friend. He's the ultra-wicked divination detective of our town. <laughs> That's too much. Divination detective? Yep. With my specialized use of divination, I can track down suspects and piece together crimes more quickly. See my necklace? It's actually a pendulum. So long as you're within five feet of me, I can determine whether anything you say is a lie or the truth. Shufflebutt! Shufflebutt, go on, try it! Uh, okay, well... I don't know who Nightwing is. I like mushrooms, I'm not a cat. Let's go with Nightwing. What the hell is a Nightwing, anyway? Since Saros is so great and also happens to be your friend, how about he joins your call? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I, I would definitely love to, but as a member of Brew, I can't commit to any cults. Psst. How boring. I swear everyone who gets recruited to Brew becomes boring. Sounds like you're just jealous. Jealous? Why should I be jealous of some overrated police force when I have my cult to form? Wait, I, I don't mean you. I, I meant... It's okay, but Priscilla, you seriously need to be careful with that. Brew still has their eyes on you from the last festival you crashed. They had to say that you were drunk off the cider when you climbed on the stage in the middle of a performance. I can't keep covering after you, and I want to believe that you have good intentions. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're always lecturing me. Mm, you should listen to him. What, are you agreeing with him? I didn't ask to be ganged up on. I just want to find my home already. It's okay, Shufflebutt. I know you're just scared and lost. My friends are your friends now. <laughs> Why can you be such an asshole? You have friends? Thank you. <laughs> well, I won't keep you guys. Just please be careful. Shufflebutt, you seem pretty reasonable. 
the lap. You'll help to keep her in check, right? Um, no promises, honestly. <laughs> Meow. <sighs> Goodbye, Priscilla. It was nice meeting you again, Shufflebutt. Bye-bye. See ya. Despite Saras's warning, Priscilla continued to put up posters for her cult. You're still putting them up. What about his warning? What about it? Trust me. I've done this loads of times. I'd be surprised if Brew actually showed up then. All in right there. Ah, <laughs> oh, sheesh. State your name and business. Shufflebutt? <laughs> you already know my name, Celery, but I shall offer it due to formalities. My name is Priscilla, and my business is known as the Mushroom Cult. No, you dunce. What is your business terrorizing folks with your so-called marketing schemes? Entma and I respond to numerous reports. Again. I ain't terrorizing anyone. I'm just offering flyers for my cult. So it's about our cult again. Once again, Priscilla, may we remind you that it is against the law to publicly promote cults. Such groups are not meant to be exposed to adolescent witches especially. What? I bet plenty of children would love to join my cult one day. Rephrase that. It's nothing dangerous or weird. It's just celebrating the older arts of potion and spellmaking. Do you have to advertise it as a cult then? If you want a general audience, surely you can advertise a club instead. I want to be portioned in the process. Priscilla? Fine, fine. Sorry, Celery. Sorry, but what kind of name is Celery? It's... Celari, not oh, that's not her voice. It's Celari, not Celery. Priscilla, we may have faith in you. We're not trying to be bullies. We're just concerned that your head is too wrapped around this whole cult thing. If you joined my cult, you would understand. No, thank you. What kind of person recruits an officer to join their cult? People like the Black Mage and Pumpkin Jester have huge cults, hundreds of fans praising them. I want to be surrounded by that kind of attention. Those kinds of people should be admired. One of them is a literal criminal. Besides, the Pumpkin Jester's cult is illegal. Nor is his cult even recognized in this town. It's still huge in other towns. Why is the Black Mage's cult the only one this town recognizes anyway? Seems pretty biased to me. Well, who cares? You're still going about this the wrong way for the wrong reasons. Um... What are you saying? The only reason you're obsessed with cults is because you're trying to replace the fact that you've never had a real family. This is still listed under Witcher. It shouldn't be. I switched the stream category. Maybe you just need to refresh. Because I did change the category. And it is changed on my thing. So it could be you just need to refresh. It's fine. Okay. It's uh, Celari. Priscilla swiftly turns on her heel, marching away. Wait. Priscilla. The blonde witch has already stalked off. Shufflebutt glances back at the two officers before following her. Celari, that was too harsh. Perhaps it was, but her infatuation has gone too far and unchecked. We can only be lenient for so long due to her unfortunate upbringing. But she's already dragged Shufflebutt into her antics. We can't have another situation like the Pumpkin Jester. The Chancellor has a particular disdain for cults too. While she cannot outright ban it within our town, it would be unwise for Priscilla to get on the wrong foot with her. I suppose you have a point. Ah, speaking of which, it's nearly time for our meeting with the Chancellor. Mm, let's go. We can handle all of this afterward. You two are late. My apologies, Chancellor. We had to deal with our usual public nuisance. I will forgive it. However, speaking of public nu nuisances, we have another one returning soon. Are you referring to... Yes, the Pumpkin Jester. Our town's 100th year anniversary is going to be held this weekend. It is also the day that our first Chancellor returns. We can't afford to screw up in front of him. 
Of course, ma'am. We'll make your father proud. Do not let me hear you say that again. Uh, uh, m my apologies. Now then, as for the pumpkin jester, I wouldn't put it past him to coordinate another attack during this time. We need to be prepared for potential encounters. Are there any ideas you have in mind, and... I will make sure every entrance of our town is guarded by our force. Who is the captain here, Lieutenant Slari? Uh, I... I apologize once more. Um, Solari has the right idea. I plan to follow through with what she's suggested. Thank you, Captain Enma. I must continue to aid in the preparation for our festival in the meantime, so I'm counting on Brew. This concludes our meeting, although Enma, I would like to have a word with you. Is... is there anything else you'd like to say to me, ma'am? You may go. Solari storms off, leaving Enma and Victoria. I... I want to vouch for Solari. She means well. She's one of our most motivated lieutenants our barracks have seen. You need not be concerned if you believe I wish to speak ill of Lieutenant Solari. I trust her loyalty, but she can be too spontaneous. I need clear, level-headed minds handling this matter. That is why I chose for you to become captain rather than her. So, what is it that you wish to speak to me about? Earlier before our meeting, by any chance were you two referring to the public nuisance as Priscilla? Well, I wouldn't call her that. It was just her usual shenanigans. I promise it isn't worth our Chancellor's attention. There is something I am concerned about involving her. On the day that the Pumpkin Jester reigns his attack, I need you to do everything in your power not to have the two cross paths. If you are saying that Priscilla would conspire with the Pumpkin Jester, she isn't like that. We thought the man behind the Pumpkin Jester's mask wouldn't become who he is today as well. I will not let my f the First Chancellor down. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. You may go. Hmm. There you are. How long were you standing in front of the entrance? So, what were you two gossiping about? Don't worry about all that. It wasn't about you. It's just another task I was entrusted to. I don't get it. I bust my ass every year to show how loyal and committed I am. And every year they pass me up for someone else. What am I doing wrong? Will I always be stuck as a lieutenant? Solari. You'll be captain one day, I promise. <laughs> Easy for you to say. And Mama watches Solari storm off. I wish I could understand our Chancellor's mind. Every single thing she says and does. Is it all really just to appease her father? Next episode? I wonder how many episodes there are in this game. Oh, is it loading? I'm hoping I don't need to click anything. There we go. Oh, nope. Oops. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I clicked this button. Oh my god. <laughs> what I didn't want to happen happened. I made a fool of myself. There we go. Priscilla. Are you all right? Hmm? Of course I am. What? But after what Solari said, if, if it's true, I mean. It's true, but is it? But it isn't as if I'm not aware of it. I know that my motives are selfish. I do want my own family. I've always dreamed of it, ever since I became aware that I was the odd one out growing up. If anything, Celery's Sal nagging motivated me. Spite is my greatest motivator, after all. That's not something to be proud of. There are other kinds of families. Are you sure a cult is what you need? Uh, same thing, different words. Um... Are you sure a cult is what you need? Of course it is. There's no other way. You haven't tried other ways, have you? Well, no, but I don't need to. I know what's right for me. Sheesh. Well, I'm still surprised at how quick you bounce back. <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm grateful for the previous chancellor who basically took me in and had the town help raise me. Our new chancellor, on the other hand, is such a pain in the butt, though. 
you run into them. Uh, let's just say we've shared the same roof for a while. Priscilla, Shufflebutt, are you two already on your way home? If so, make sure to close your blinds and lock every entrance. Huh? What's the emergency? I overheard Solari and Enma mentioning the Pumpkin Jester. It's anticipated that he may finally strike against our town soon. Ooh, sounds fun. But I have a bodyguard now. I'll be fine. You better not be referring to me. Besides, Saros, shouldn't you be hiding out too? You're a detective, not an officer. I'm capable of combat, too, but I've been searching after the Pumpkin Jester for years. And today's the day that I'm finally going to catch this guy. <laughs> really? Looks like your divination disagrees. Well, well it, it, it's not always accurate, anyway. Uh-huh, sure. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, I'm getting distracted. Safe travels, you two. Remember what I said. All their hats have anti-gravity, yeah. I know it's so that we can see their faces better, but like, it really does look like it doesn't fit properly on their heads. Uh, this pumpkin jester, who was that guy anyway? Once again, same thing, different words. Uh... Is that guy anyway? Uh, he's an odd story. The pumpkin jester was a sweet little kid. He grew up very studious at the top of every class. Everyone either loved or envied him. After graduating with honors, he got all sorts of offers from different companies. Brew had personally sent him a captain's invitation. It was last heard that he considered taking up Brew's offer. Then he vang then he vanished. When they needed him most, he disappeared. No one suspected what a maniac he'd become in the following years. He suddenly had a growing cult of his outside this town. To this day, it's still unknown how or why he turned into a criminal. It's also what scared a lot of people about cults now. They think it got into his head and made him go insane. But I'm not that dumb. I ain't trying to go around attacking people for fun. I just want a fan club. Can't it just be a fan club, then? I don't know who this is. Normally, I'm not one to interrupt when the topic's focused on me. Fortunately for you, I'm in the mood to play around for a little. Powerful slash cuts into the building beside the two, barely cutting their jackets. Uh, it, is that? Oh, oh shit, is he trying to kill us? He's a criminal, isn't he? I've got it. I'll, I'll cast one of my most powerful dark spells. Why didn't you do that before? Shut up! After fumbling in the pockets of her jacket, Priscilla quickly turns around and swipes her hand in a horizontal motion. Fine black powder escapes her hand, completely engulfing the pumpkin jester's face. Yes, I got him! What does it even do? It'll melt his face off! Th that's brutal! So long as it stops him. Did it work? What kind of spell was that, you useless witch? I'm useless? Aren't you a familiar? Use your own magic. I already said I can't. The two are cornered in an alleyway. Pumpkin Jester begins to slowly inch toward them, raising his blades. Oh, we're done for. My call. Who cares about that right now? For the Jester could take another step. Uniform steps thudding over cobblestone could be heard. Oh, Brew came prepared this time. I'll catch you guys later. The masked man jumps away, disappearing just as reinform reinforcements show up. Everyone, follow in that direction. Priscilla, Shufflebutt, are you all right? <laughs> I am now that you are here. <laughs> I don't know who I want to romance. Um... If the jester guy is that guy in the little thumbnail picture for the game, um, you thought. <laughs> Never been better. You know what? I kind of want to see what happens if I'm a little flirty. I, I will flirt. Eh? Well. <laughs> it didn't work. 
<laughs> I have like speech of zero, I swear to god. Well, hopefully our forces will capture him. At the very least, we can chase him out. Uh, when does this have to happen on the week of the 100th anniversary? You two, come in and get your wounds treated, then we'll interrogate you. What? We're the victims. Being interrogated doesn't automatically make you suspects, you dunce. But it is suspicious how the pumpkin gesture just so happened to attack you two specifically. It was coincidental. Guys, please. Let's focus on securing the gates and getting them treated. Hmph. <laughs> I can't believe they had us monitored for a week after the incident. I missed an entire week of advertising my cult. I do love her hat though. I just noticed that like there's little stars hanging from her hat. I want it. It's so pretty. You got me dragged into this too. You promised we'd look for my previous owner. It's been a week and all you've done is use me for your own benefits. You can't throw this all on me. I've already got my hands full with other stuff. But you promised me. I trusted you, and I've already run. And I've already ran into the law several times, and got attacked by some dangerous criminal. Everything about you is a hazard, and the only person you either you ever look out for is yourself. You're so incredibly selfish, Priscilla. It's fine. What's fine? The cult thing. Everything. I I didn't want to admit it, but but it really is hard. I've been going at it for years, but nothing's changed. All I've done is scare people even more. I just wanted a family, a group of people who cared about me. But I don't deserve that. If I can't even care for the only people who still care about me. Maybe, maybe I'll never have a family. But it's not impossible. A cult of worshippers will never replace a true family. Friends can. You have Saros and... Well... Me. You're my first friend, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe I should have worn the heart monitor. <laughs> I don't think my heart rate is accelerating, though, but it is getting warm in here. I'm sorry. I I'm so sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have put you through all of that. You, you don't deserve that. Your first friend shouldn't be someone like me. You should just leave. Jeez. Stop making things awkward. You're going to ruin dinner for us once we get back home. Back home? Yeah, home. Ugh! Hey, don't cry. People are staring. I promise I'll be a way better friend. We'll find your owner, I promise. Thank you, Priscilla. Several days. Oh, several days later. Hmm, let's see. I don't know half of these ingredients Priscilla's asking for. How does she expect me to go grocery shopping for her? What the? Oh, one of these ingredients? Black cat tooth. If no one sells this, then she better not be referring to my teeth. Ah, whatever. Maybe I can find some familiar faces around town and ask them. Um, I don't know if this is a thing where... Hold on, let me quick save. Um... Saros, Enma, or Solari. Who do I like best out of all of those three? I don't really... I guess, um... Headpats out of stock? Are they? <laughs> Was it not working? Uh, I think out of all of them, I probably... Well, I, I, I've only gotten to know Saros the most, kind of. Let's go with him. Oh, Shufflebutt, how's it going? I was hoping you'd be doing all right after what happened last week. Um, <laughs> I've been looking for you. <laughs> I can sound so unintentionally flirty, it's so funny. Uh, I've been looking for you. For me, that's a surprise to hear. I tried to pat again and it said out of stock. Oh, that's right. I can remove that now. It's because I, for some of the redeems, I had to, um, put a little timer, like a little, like, cooldown. 
Because some of the things, if multiple people were to spam them, it would break. I think head pads should be fine. I'm not sure, but you can always use the command. I guess I left a good impression last time, huh? <laughs> you did. That's why I need your help. Sure. What do you need? I'm not sure where I need to go to buy these ingredients. Mm, let's see. <laughs> That's Priscilla for you. But you've never heard of some of these basic ingredients. I've been a cat for a while. I don't think it was important to know anyway. Sure, I've always known you were a different creature, but even the souls that float around here can tell what a wingleberry is. <laughs> well, it's not just because I'm a different creature. I'm a familiar who was cursed to stay in my cat form. Priscilla's the one who broke me out of that curse, with mushrooms. She's sweet, isn't she? Though I'd be surprised if she did that without wanting any benefits from it herself. You're actually right about that. Still, I am grateful for that much. I don't remember much about my past, but she still gave me a home. Of course, she may come off as a bit eccentric, but she always has other people's best interests in mind. I'm glad she finally has another friend to rely on. And you don't feel so alone, right? Yeah, you're right. Of course. Okay, I've grouped each ingredient with the store that should have them. Follow along the path and you'll run into them. <gasps> can we chat more? Of course we can. I've always wanted to chat more with you. What do you want to know? <gasps> what do you think of me? Oh my god. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? Oh, loads of things. I especially love to do tarot readings for friends. I actually have a thing for volunteering to perform for festivals, too. I want everyone to see what that there is so much more to divination than just crystal balls and fortune telling. That sounds great. I'm glad you think so. I didn't want to take up your time. You've got groceries to collect. Let's chat some other time, okay? Yeah, see you later, Saras. And see ya, Shufflebutt. After buying all of the ingredients from the proper stores, Shufflebutt begins to return home. However, Shufflebutt pauses from a particular scent. That guy over there. I haven't seen him before, but I recognize his scent. You sure like to stab, don't you? Ah, it's the pumpkin guy. God damn it, he's hot! <laughs> We already know. We already know. God damn it. I was. <sighs> I'm probably gonna end up this guy, aren't I? What's up? You and your little friend went into hiding for quite a while after I barely touched you. You tried to kill us? <laughs> Could you imagine he would be. S he would probably be offended if we asked, Who are you? Um, you tried to kill us. Nah, nah, it was all just fun and games, honest. Who even are you? What does the town call me again? Pumpkin Jester. Pretty corny if you ask me. I could have come up with like 10 different names. Okay, no, the British accent does not work with if, if his speech is like that. <laughs> You're real fun. I've never seen you around town until recently, so I don't mind getting all personal. Name's Mask. You're the mysterious black cat familiar Shufflebutt, right? How did you... As if that's important. My concern is how close your relationship is to Brew. The little birdie's seen you chatting around with some of them. Can I take a wild guess at who that birdie was? <laughs> Come on, tell me. How familiar are you with Brew? Are you coming on to me? Huh? <laughs> You're pretty and funny, but I'm not trying to flirt right now. <gasps> right now? Listen, I've had my eye on you for a while. Quite frankly, I can't trust myself with anyone else. What are you talking about? I don't even know you. And that's my point. You're the only one who I can talk to. About Brew, about this town, about Victoriette. Listen to me. I grew up in this town. Not everything is what it appears to be. It's... Shuffle butt. Enba. Is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Catch you later, Shuffle butt. Hold on. Mask already disappeared from the scene, having left Enma too stunned to chase after him. 
There'll be fruitless to go on another chase, but I'm more concerned about the circumstance I discovered you two under. Was he threatening you? Did anything happen? Are, are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. Thank goodness. I'll have to make another report. This is certainly odd. He's been showing up more often than usual. The Chancellor had predicted that this may happen as we get closer to the 100th year anniversary festival. Right. Please, try to stay safe in the meantime. I'm not sure why the Jester has been confronting you specifically. Nor do I want to make any awful assumptions. But you will tell us if anything happens, right? Of course! Thank you, Shufflebutt. Ah, I shouldn't be away from my post for too long. I'll see you then. Yeah, see ya. I'm totally not gonna go and date him or anything. Which, I, you know what, I've, I've already... I think internally, I've already convinced myself I'm gonna go after him. <laughs> Even the... Oh. See, here's the di here's my dilemma. I like Priscilla so much too. I love her design. She's very pretty. I'm so gay for her. She is also our first friend. But the pumpkin jester. <sighs> I can't. All right. Thanks to your helpfulness in getting the ingredients, I was finally able to get a few potions mixed up. I'm surprised you haven't dragged me around to go cult marketing. Uh, well, I I'm re-strategizing for now. Leave me alone. Right. Yeah. Hmm? What's the matter? Uh, I ran into someone. No! Why'd you fuck me? Maybe I'll try and play through Priscilla and the Jester? We'll see. I don't actually know how long this is gonna take me. I don't know how long this game is. Yeah, duh. It's a small town. Uh, I mean, someone who nearly murdered us last week. Huh? Y you don't mean the pumpkin jester. <laughs> no, not the piano. It's okay, I've got a thick skull. I'm surprised you came out unscathed then. Wait, how come you're only telling me just now? As much as I don't like running to them, we've got to tell Brew. No. Huh? It's just... He told me some things. Oh yeah? Like what? I'm not sure how to put it. He basically said he's suspicious of Brew. Of Brew? That's pretty odd since he was excited about getting recruited by them back before he became a criminal. <gasps> Ooh, maybe he found something out and he was like, Brew's not so great. Though my own experience with Brew, beside them being stingy, is that everyone just feels so different after getting recruited. Do you think people are getting brainwashed? I've known Enma and Saros before they got recruited. I'm not saying their entire personalities changed, but something has always felt different. I can't even criticize Brew or do half the things I used to in the past without them getting on my ass about it. It really makes me wonder what dumb rules they're probably being forced to follow. Mask was recruited to Brew before he supposedly vanished. Is it possible that something happened before his recruitment? Or was it after? What you thinking about? You mentioned that people tend to compare you to Mask. It's not really a compliment, but more of an insult, right? But what if it's neither? Uh, what are you saying? Are <laughs> you considered being a criminal? <laughs> you two share the same opinion of Brew. It's not to say that you both hate it. You just feel weird about it, right? Usually I'm able to trust my gut instinct. When he spoke to me, something told me that he really does have a reason to be suspicious. I'm not condoning the way he's handled it, but if there is someone on the inside and someone on the outside of this town who both feel the same way, that warrants some cause for suspicion, doesn't it? I suppose, but so what? It's not as if we can do anything about it. We could be paranoid for no reason for all we know. Even so, don't you see? If we can solve Mass's crime, then we won't have to be monitored by Brew anymore. Oh, I see. Now we're talking. Uh, how are we gonna solve it, though? I don't feel like getting attacked by that psycho again. We might have to. His issue is partially with Brew, so... There's only one person who can answer our questions about Brew's internal system truthfully. 
Well, the Chancellor, I think. You've got to be insane. Must have been the mushrooms. Let's talk to Ceres. His divine crystal detects lies, hence why he always tells the truth. Which means we may be able to solve the motive behind Mass's crime. Okay, let's go. Right now? Right now, right now. Ceres? Yeah? We want to ask you some things about Brew. Uh, you see, after the whole pumpkin jester attack, I've gotten really concerned about our safety. Oh, of course. What is it that you'd like to know? Uh, uh Shufflebutt, what was it that you wanted to ask again? <laughs> of course you tossed it to me. Uh, who qualifies as a recruit for Brew? Beyond excelling with test scores, you typically have to show above average understanding and commitment of this town. I personally find it quite easy to. You're our town's best detective. Of course you'd say it's easy. I'm being modest. Even Brew is pretty lenient with certain applications. What's the recruitment process like? Eh, well, you fill a bunch of forms out and you go into training. Then after two months, you're officially an officer. Uh, right. What's the training like? Uh, I don't know. Just typical physical and magical training stuff. Nothing else? Anything that seems weird? What are you getting at? His necklace isn't lighting up. He's been telling the truth. Were we really overthinking things after all? What are you bothering Saros about? Solari and Enma step over. None of your business, Celery. It's Celari. <laughs> it's nothing. They were just asking a few questions about Baru. <laughs> Don't tell me you're planning to try and get recruited, Priscilla. I'm gonna sleep now. Okay, sleep well. No way, that sounds like such a trick. Serving this town and its citizens is not supposed to be entertaining. Please don't let Solari heated. Please don't get Solari heated again. Priscilla, you know how passionate she is about this town. Have fun with pumpkin seeds. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, yeah. Priscilla and Shufflebutt step a bit closer together as Solari continues ranting to the other men. Maybe we were wrong. Everyone seems to be genuine. Was Mask really just trying to get to my head after all? Hm. Let's just ignore him. You've been perfectly fine before he came along and started messing with us. Rue has always been trying to protect us after all. There's no reason to question anything more than that. Yeah, you're right. Still, Shufflebutt's gut felt a bit uneasy. I don't know if anything much would have changed if I had picked the other option. Shufflebutt, you're going to the festival this weekend, right? It's pretty common practice to pair up with someone for anniversary events. Festival? Yep, it's the 100th year anniversary of this town being founded. With this festival, it is rumored that a special restoration ritual will be performed by our Chancellor. Ah, wish I'd known that sooner then. A little late to ask now, isn't it? Well, you know us already, don't you? Just ask someone here. But the, uh, some of us have to work at the festival, you know? Sounds personal to me. Why you... What? What is going on here? Uh, ch chancellor don't mind this at all. We've got it under control. What's the big deal? Shufflebutt was just going to pick someone to go to the festival with. Albert, unprofessional of you, acting so dismissive. You may all continue. I do not mind. The air sure does feel different with the Chancellor here, yet Priscilla seems unfazed. Anyway, as for my festival date... Ha ha ha! So, there's this guy with green hair. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for Priscilla first. She was the one that I originally wanted to go for in the beginning, so we're just gonna go for her. And if there is time, we're gonna go for the Pumpkin Jester guy. You're asking me? Priscilla looks around to make sure it's her. Yeah, idiot. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Is Priscilla getting shy? I'm... Uh, of course not. I knew it all along that Shufflebutt would choose me. I mean, who wouldn't? 
Don't make me regret this. I want to get ready for the festival, now. What are you getting ready so early for, you dunce? It's tomorrow. I've got to practice a few magic tricks, if I want to get some recruits for my cult. What the hell? That's definitely not happening. And don't worry, I'm just doing it for the fans. I've already got the closest thing to a family now. See, this is why I want to go for her. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt her like that, you know? What? Where do you come off talking like that now? Did someone finally talk some sense into you? You could say that. Let's go. Let's go, Shufflebutt. Shufflebutt is already snatched and whisked away. Honestly, those two... It's amazing how much Priscilla has changed since Shufflebutt's arrival. I do agree. Let us finish preparations for the festival. The crew eventually clear out, however, Sarah stays behind. I... I know I'm merely a detective, but I couldn't help but notice that, well... You don't seem very happy about the festival. Um... F forgive me. Uh, forget I ever spoke out of turn. Saros, you are the town's best divination user. I remember when you did a tarot reading for me. When we were kids. I'm not sure why I remember that now of all times. I would have loved to receive another one during the festival. But this time, even I would know the outcome. Wh what As for your question, do not worry. I'll be alright. I'm looking forward to the festival. Victoria glances at the corner of the building for a brief second. Her gaze lingers, and Saros hesitantly follows her gaze. I must go now. The Chancellor swiftly steps away to return inside the headquarters, leaving Saros outside. Oh, his necklace was black! Or was it white? I think it was black earlier. I wasn't paying attention, goddammit. What? What was that about just now? Shit. Nearly got caught eavesdropping. Forgot how good her perception is. But this isn't good. If the festival is tomorrow, that means... Alright. Gonna have to shift to plan B before it's too late. I can't waste any more time. I've gotta find them. I have to warn Shufflebutt. I can't help it. He's so hot every time I see him. God fucking damn it. The motto comes. It's the day. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you really going to perform stunts? I don't need you embarrassing me. You're the one embarrassing me. The last ingredient I need for my special bond is a black cat familiar's tooth. And you're so selfish that you won't even give it to me. You're crazy if you think I'm going to rip my teeth out for you. Oh yeah? What if we end up in danger again, huh? How else am I going to be able to protect us against that jester? Come on, you saw how easily he withstood my black dust. I need to make sure- I need to make use of your bones and limbs. Don't be gross. Fine, fine, you'll just be my magic assistant then. What? You never told me until now. How am I supposed to know what's going to happen? Duh, that's the point. I didn't want to spoil the tricks. You'll be surprised with the audience too. That's terrible. As the first act of being my assistant, could you grab me out the back for me? Hi, Captain. Shufflebutt moves away to pick up Priscilla's bag. This is a mo There's a movement from the window. Shufflebutt curiously glances up. Did you see something? If you're referring to the peg that is yet to be in my hand, then no. Ugh. Shufflebutt finally stands up. In the midst of turning around, something appeared to be off. Slowly, Shufflebutt's head turns. Hello! Yo. He found us! Quick, where's my black powder? Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not going to hurt you two. Kind of hard to believe considering your track record. Shufflebutt, that's, there's not enough time to explain. You have to come with me. What? No way! Look, I don't know what kind of business you've been feeding into Shufflebutt's ear. But we already talked to Brew. You're the only- you're the one who's insane. Everything was fine before you chose to go insane. A thread of vines suddenly crashed into the window, creating a barrier between Priscilla and Shufflebutt. Shufflebutt! Priscilla! 
Sofabud attempts to grab at the vines, but is pulled away by Mask for a more secluded area of the room. I don't think I'll ever get over this. He's... Okay, him and Priscilla, my favorite two, already. Shufflebutt. Can't you listen to me like last time? What changed? Did they get into your head already? You can't let them fool you. This is not the reality you think it is. Leave Shufflebutt alone. Shufflebutt, don't listen to him. Remember what everyone told us. He's crazy. I'm not gonna lose you. I'm not going to lose you to them. I won't be alone again. So please, listen to me. This entire town has been brainwashed. Were you my previous owner? Because I don't know if he means I won't be alone again. As in, he doesn't want to be the only one that's not brainwashed, or that he doesn't want to be without us. Except you, me, and Priscilla. What? The vines finally slip out, and Mask steps away from Shufflebutt. That... that's impossible. Shufflebutt, you don't believe him, do you? This crazy guy? His eyes... Eh? His eyes are gorgeous, is that what you were going to say? They felt more human than everyone else in the city. I noticed that about your eyes too, Priscilla. Something in my gut told me that you two felt the most real. It's not to say that everyone else is being fake, but something did change. Remember when you said you felt strange about how distant and odd everyone became after being recruited into Brew? I've only been here for a couple weeks, but even I could tell how disconnected everything seemed. I wonder what Brew really stands for. I thought I was the only one who felt this way. I thought I was the crazy one. But if I dared to ask, question anything, they would immediately bring up Mask. That's because I became aware of their dirty secret after being recruited. That day, Victoria was the one facilitating the new recruits, in a room that had the darkest, heaviest atmosphere. I didn't feel right about it, so I tried to turn back, but she ordered an officer to keep me in place, saying that it was too late to turn back. I had to fight my way out, and by then it was clear that I couldn't stay without being considered a criminal. That's awful. So that's the truth. I'm so sorry. But why? What could be her motive for brainwashing everyone? Someone like Solari would gladly serve this town without the need for that. I haven't been entirely sure, but I suspect that it has to do with the festival today. It's possible that a ritual may be performed where Victoria can guarantee no disruptions if everyone is already at her beck and call. So although you say Solari is loyal enough to our town, there's no guarantee that she would have been loyal enough to Victoria's shadiness. A ritual? Anima did mention something like that. Some sort of restoration ritual. Oh my god, they're gonna raise the Dark Lord or whatever it was. Right, and there's only two kinds of restoration rituals. One on a blue moon, and one on the red moon. And today is the red moon. That's right. Do you get it now? Victoria is not holding this festival for the reason you think it is. Restoration rituals on blue moons are meant as a spiritual reset, promoting future prosperity. Restoration rituals on red moons are meant to be a deadly reset, a large sacrifice to promote spiritual rebirth. But that sort of ritual has never been performed before by anyone. Only the Black Mage's cult has believed in that kind of ritual, but even then... That's why we need to stop her now, before the festival starts in a few hours. Well, that implies Victoria would be part of the cult, and everyone knows she would never... You. Don't tell me you've never known. Known what? This isn't just any kind of town. Ever since you were born here, this entire town has always been the Black Mage's cult. No. Wh what Priscilla, Shufflebutt. You have been living within a cult. Oh, shit! <laughs> you know, this is perfectly where they would cut in a K-drama. You know, where, like, the screen ripples, the ads start rolling, the promotions and sponsors go on screen. Also, heads up, we have ads in five minutes. This is great. I'm loving this twist. Priscilla, are you okay? 
It's a lot to process for her, no doubt, growing up without realizing something like that. It was easy to hide this fact from her since everyone was already brainwashed by then. So that's why no one wanted to join her cult. Or any cult. We're already... We're not in their cult. This town, it was my home. But I will not associate myself with their cult. We're about to lose everyone because of the Black Mage. I won't forgive them. Priscilla. <laughs> sure feels good having the two of you around. You mentioned that you didn't want to be alone again. Uh, yeah. Contrary to beliefs, it ain't all that fun being an outsider. Believe it or not, although this town was built upon a pre-existing cult, nothing has ever gotten this extreme. I'd say this is one of the most sane towns. It's why I believe that the people aren't at fault, but rather Victoria. It's possible that this entire town has been brainwashed, too. Then no one has any idea how dire things are. We'll stop the Chancellor, Priscilla. We still have to hold our end of the deal we made. Right. Hey, don't go leaving me out. Where's my motivational praise? Don't be so needy. All right. We're going to save this town and take over with my new cult. That's not what we agreed to. <laughs> you guys really are hilarious. I'm seriously glad I can talk like this with friends again. Yeah, I like it too. Everyone shares a relieved smile to one another. Uh, Saros. Priscilla, Shufflebutt. What the? Isn't that the pumpkin jester? <laughs> Yo. Uh, we're buddies now. No, no, it's not what you think. Listen, we need your help in stopping Victoria from commencing the festival. What on earth are you talking about? This festival isn't real, nor is the ritual. And who told you that? Should I take a wild guess? Everyone already warned you about letting him get into your head, and now you're both... Hey, we don't have time to be arguing with you. Get out of our way or we'll force you. Saros, please. You know we're not lying to you. Victoria is not who you think she is. Please, you have to help us. I... I can't. Saros hurriedly turns away to leave. Saros! Crap. It won't be long before Brew is alerted. What should we do? We can't take them all on. We'll fight our way to Victoria yet, then. A little too late for that. Two familiar officers rush over at the sight of the three. You guys. Enma. Pumpkin Jester, surrender yourself at once. We don't want to fight. Priscilla, Shufflebutt, you two are also under arrest for conspiring with the known criminal. I can't believe this. It isn't like that. Screw that. Believe it or not, you guys were all brainwashed. I'm going to save you all whether you like it or not. This dunce. She's completely lost it. Well, it sounds to me like you're resisting arrest. Therefore, we will not hesitate to use force. We're gonna run out of time at this rate. Huh. Ah, uh, you guys never liked making things easy for me anyway. Alright, let's settle this. Shufflebutt, Priscilla, get out of here. Mask? What are you talking about? You're coming with us. Shut up and go. You're wasting time. <laughs> Besides, I think it's obvious the blonde one's got a score to settle with me. Mask. We'll see you later, right? <laughs> I wouldn't miss taking down Victoria yet for the world. Shufflebutt. It's for your guys' own good. Let's go, Shufflebutt. Oh, shit. I won't allow you to. A large beam manifests and Enma attempts to catch up to the two. A sudden wave of vines crash onto the ground, blocking Enma from the two now escaping. Mask drops his hand as the officer looks back at him. Come on, focus on me instead, would you? I'm your opponent right now. Enma, keep him distant. Oh, keep him distracted. Whoa. Solari charges her arrow before releasing her shot from behind Mask. Shit, shit, shit. When brilliant force materializes and blocks the arrow, causing it to disintegrate as Enma jumps away from Mask. Oh, in the ads world. God, this is such epic battle music too, and so now we gotta sit for three minutes. It's okay, we'll wait until they're done. 
Something you said activated my Google Assistant. <laughs> Oops. But yes. <sighs> Man, you know what? This whole game might actually take me the full two hours. I wasn't expecting it to take so long, but it is. I don't know how much of this... Because it's kind of a romance game, right? So theoretically, every branch is a little different. So I'm trying to wonder how it branches off. Because I don't know if there's much more after this. Or you know what? Maybe the whole dating thing takes place after. Like maybe we defeat Victoria, we save the town, and then it's kind of like, what now? We're just living our life, romancing people. Okay, well that would be interesting. If so, this game is a lot longer than I thought it was. I'm also now realizing that it would be a good time for me to go to the bathroom. I hope this music's not too loud. Feel free to turn it down though while I go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. still have about 20 or so seconds. Oh man, this music is so epic, my goodness. I am kind of curious as to when the voices are gonna happen. Maybe when we reach an ending. All right, ads are finished. Welcome back. So I did not continue in the game while the ads were running. I waited until they were finished. I am going to read this line again. <clears throat> A brilliant force materializes and blocks the arrow, causing it to disintegrate as Enma jumps away from Mask. Y you Why? <gasps> Saros! Signing of the enemy. Didn't expect that from you. Please, I only side with justice. Truth be told, I've always had my suspicions. When I listened to the three of you, my pendulum didn't detect any deceit. You guys were telling the truth. Can't ignore that. Still, I don't want to settle things like this. We <laughs> kinda don't have much of a choice now, do we? Blah, blah, blah. They have two similar voices. I need to change that. <coughs> we have to reason with them. If I can be con- Oh god, why is my voice dying today? <coughs> <coughs> I had to mute the microphone so I could have a little coughing fit. Um, we have to reason with them. If I can be convinced of the truth, so can they. The only way we can get through to them is beating them in this fight. Can you promise me that much? <laughs> yeah, alright. Jeez, it's so creepy in here. <laughs> That's a shock, considering this entire town's appearance. All right, this is the Chancellor's door. Ugh. What's up? <laughs> I guess, as confident as I may seem, I'm pretty scared. Having a few run-ins with the law is nothing compared to this. I'm not sure what'll happen from here on out. We can do this. <laughs> that makes me feel a little better, especially with you by my side. As my hype man, of course. Right. 
Maz paved the way for us after years of battling this alone. You can't back down now. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Let's go save our home. The chamber doors reveal Victoria, who appear to have anticipated their arrival. Nonetheless, Priscilla marches forward, closely followed by Shufflebutt. All right, Victoria. We know what you've been planning, and we are here to stop you. Very well. Uh... Didn't even let me finish. You could waste your time explaining how you managed to find out. However, it was obvious, wasn't it? I know Mask is the one behind this little crusade. Then why are you doing this? Don't you know the fate of this town? Your town? You are here to stop me, no matter what, Cor no matter what, correct? Um, oh no, I don't think there's a... I don't think there's a history. Oh, there is a history, actually. Let's, let us not waste our time, then. But we don't want to fight. You're our chancellor. Surely you care about your town. Should you continue to meddle in my affairs, I will take certain measures. Don't you care about your friends? Us? You've changed so much since we grew apart. What happened, Victoria? I know you wouldn't do something like this. I... Ugh. What's wrong? I, I don't know. I, I'm not doing anything. Victoria had grasped her head briefly, then drops her hand with a thoroughly determined scowl. I warned you not to meddle. Hair to meet your end. Saros, this isn't your fight. You can still right your wrongs. If you could please, just listen to us. There's nothing more to listen to. If you can't accept it, then we'll detain the both of you by force. Enma suddenly pushes away from Mask, swiftly sending a slash from his pole towards Saris. Shit. Hey, detective. Saris quickly charges a barrier to block off the attack. Unfortunately, an arrow flashes from Solari's bow, hurling straight for him. Watch out! Eh? Mask. Damn, should have known they'd play dirty. Enma and Solari approach the two, but still with their weapons drawn. Stop it, it doesn't have to come to this. Stand down, Saras. I'm only being lenient with you because you still have a chance to prove yourself. But, release him now, Saras. I won't. Priscilla and Shufflebutt, the entire town is counting on them. And those two are counting on us. Saras. I can excuse the fact that you may have been influenced by the jester somehow. But it's useless prolonging in a fight you cannot win. You've never been good at combat, so why do you choose to keep fighting back now? Just how brainwashed are you? Are you trying to get yourself killed, huh? Solari raises her bow, aiming for Mask. Solari, you can't be serious. Cirrus, I'm giving you one last chance. He's already hurt. This is going too far. I won't move. If this is your choice, Saros, then so be it. No, Solari. Solari draws the string of her bow back. Don't. You had your chance already. You've always been too weak to fight back anyway. What, what is this atmosphere? It's suddenly pitch black. I, I can't move. Ugh. This sudden void. It's <coughs> suffocating. I've asked you to again and again, and it still had to come to this. <gasps> Sarah's? Are you actually a big bad bitch? If death is truly the only solution for you two, I could kill you two right now. <laughs> I didn't expect this from him, of all people. Oh my goodness. But this isn't what I want. No one truly wants that, and that is the truth. So please, stop fighting and listen to us. Holy shit. Is it another next episode thing? 
right now my screen's black, so... Oh, I had to just click on something. <laughs> Sarah's turns to Neil, lifting Masks' upper... God, it's so hard to say his name with, like, the apostrophe. Masks... Masks... Yeah, there we go. Masks' upper half to tend to him. Miraculously, and Mansolari remained dormant. Ugh. Thank goodness. Detective. Aw, you care enough to heal me. Sarah's drops mask. <laughs> Ow! We don't have to fight anymore. I finally convinced them to hear us out. Seriously? The bloodthirsty duo? Look, Sarah's has been has never been this adamant. His judgment is the one of the few things we could trust in this town. And we clearly underestimated him. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh yeah, you do look pretty shaken up, though. Sure, he didn't just kick your asses. Don't push it. Oh no, I guess he's suddenly country now. Mask, stop wasting time. Priscilla and Shufflebutt may still need our help. All right, all right. I'll explain on the way to the headquarters. Let's go. Okay, he's suddenly country. <laughs> we'll just live with that. We'll just... I might die if we ever do romance and I have to do that voice, but it's okay. Uh, she's too strong. I, I can't get an opening. Look, now's our chance. The pair attempt to attack Victoria from either side. The Chancellor merely swipes her blade at Priscilla whilst casting a spell against Shufflebutt. Uh, uh, Priscilla! You two stand no chance against me. Why must you persist? Priscilla collapses to the ground as Victoria strides toward her. Stay away from her! Hmm? Shufflebutt, don't... Do not waste my time! Victoria casts a crescent-shaped light that launches Shufflebutt across the chamber. <laughs> Shufflebutt! D I warned you, Priscilla. Meddling in these affairs will get you killed. I didn't want to do this, but you left me no choice. <laughs> Admits her choking, Priscilla examines Victoria's solemn gaze, as if there was something, as if there was someone else behind the sky blue eyes. And suddenly, she makes her revelation. It, it wasn't it, you. Hmm. The harsh grip over Priscilla's neck loosens. You knew about the brainwashing, but none of it was your doing. It, it was... I don't know who it was. Yes, it was me. Oh! F father I'd be more impressed that you all figured this out if it weren't on the day of the cer uh, my ceremony. At least you have the luxury of being aware during your final hour here on Earth. Hold on. Does this mean the Black Mages? Indeed. This town was founded by my cult, after all. Y you, you also brainwashed me. Uh, everything I knew. Uh, everything you've told me. Was it all a lie? Of course. Do you think I could entrust you to a simple task of watching over this town for my ritual? Pathetic. Almost ate it in the sacrifice of our entire town. I. Oh god, what have I done? And yet you failed again. Even as a child, you could never do anything right. Who the hell do you think you are? Hmm? I just learned that our town was nothing but livestock, and yet. I'm more angry to see our Chancellor being treated like garbage by her own father. I was abandoned in a dumpster, and you were the one who saved me and gave me hope. I looked up to you. You were almost like a father figure to me, to so many people like me. And yet, here you are, talking down on your... Blah, blah, blah. Talking down on your own blood-related daughter so terribly. I won't forgive it. Priscilla. I was abandoned, too. Oh my god, cat lore dropping? I remember now. The reason why I barely remember anything. My previous owner discarded me after draining me of my familiar magic to use as their own. It's why my memory has been so foggy. But you still took me in, Priscilla. 
and even though I had nothing to offer, you still wanted me. This town became not only Priscilla's home, but mine too. Shufflebutt, I won't let my new home get taken away from me. That's why I'm going to make my own sacrifice. Shufflebutt! Oh! What? Um, no, huh? Shufflebutt, are you crazy? <laughs> I guess you're finally rubbing off on me, after all. A black cat's tooth was the last ingredient you needed, right? Oh my god, why am I crying? Okay, I thought I was dying, so I just ripped out a tooth. <laughs> Hello, Mel, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you, thank you. Oh my goodness. So, so take this and protect us like you said you would. Shufflebutt, you... I will. Ha, <laughs> how foolish. You actually plan to go against me. For the sake of our home, and for Victoria. It's hopeless going against father. And your little friends are about to find out the hard way. Erebus? I don't know. I'm gonna go with Erebus. Erebus raises his staff at once, casting a deadly ray aimed at Priscilla. A flash of light strikes back against his spell. <laughs> Such incredible magic. Definitely the work of a black cat familiar. But if you think that is enough to defeat me... There's a great surge of magic that pushes Priscilla back. Give up. Perhaps my blast will kill you faster than the ceremony. Uh, I won't. Uh, uh, Victoria, I need you. Uh, it's hopeless. Everything. We can't stop him. It's all my fault. I, I aided in his plan. I, I deserve to perish. You didn't know it. It's okay. Deep down, you're a good person. You just wanted to please your only kin. I... I would have too. But you are your own person, too. Your own flaws and strengths. Everyone looks up to you. Everyone believes in you. I won't let Shufflebutt's sacrifice go in vain. And I can't do this alone. This is the time to take revenge, to make right of the wrongs. Victoria! <laughs> it's no use. You could gather a hundred men. Your magic will never compare to mine. I'm the strongest witch on the entire earth. No, father. You do not know my own strength. You never paid attention to me. The real me. A blue light intermingles with Priscilla and a great burst surging seamlessly through Erebus's beam. Uh, uh, how? Such power! You saw me as nothing more than a loyal puppet jumping to your every bid. It ends now. Ah! Oh, no! This can't be... Why? Shufflebutt! Shufflebutt! Oh, thank goodness! I was so scared! Did we... Priscilla nods. We did it! Um... Do not be concerned with my feelings. But your father, he's... There were days I wondered if I truly was his daughter. Whether or not I was, I couldn't bear to be related to a monster. And yet, it's so complicated. and shouldn't have had to come to this. Why, father? He still had me. We may not be blood-related, but he practically raised the both of us together, didn't he? Even if we may never know what his intentions were, we still have each other. You're not alone, Victoria. Uh, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. For everything. Oh, I still have mistakes that I must make up for. I want to be the Chancellor that this town deserves. Um, if... If you would have me again, that is. <laughs> I can't think of anything, anyone better for such a boring job. Yeah, now that we know he was the mastermind behind everything, we can trust you to help build a better future for our town. And we as your new friends we can help you in the process, too. Ah, speaking of friends helping out, now's probably a good time to check on everyone outside. 
Crap. Hope these Solari and Enma didn't, aren't kicking masks' his butt too badly. The door to the chamber slams open. Uh, Chancellor! Rissella! Thank goodness, everyone is okay. Everyone! Wait, how come you all are being buddy-buddy? <laughs> you can thank my new pal here. Oh, he was country, wasn't he? He came to my aid after having a change of heart. <laughs> Sorry, I still giggle thinking about him having a country accent. I don't know this man. Ceres! I'm sorry I didn't believe you before, Priscilla. Mask told us everything. I still can't believe that so much of our lives were fabricated. All those memories we must have shared. I'm so sorry. I completely understand if you wish to cut ties with Brew. Uh, I was gone for I don't know because I was committed to a piece of cheese. What did I miss? Um, We basically defeated the guy that was brainwashing this entire town. And so I'm not sure where we're at in the story, if we're near the end or if there's going to be supposed romance after. Because there hasn't been much romancing. Uh, who is, uh, what are you apologizing for? It wasn't your fault. I joined Brew because I love this town and want to protect it. Even if the circumstances weren't ideal, I'm still proud of the hat I wear. Solari. It's a shame that the anniversary festival had to be cancelled before it even began. Does it have to be? Just have a do-over next week or something. Who cares about formalities? We care, you menace. I agree with his idea. Huh? I don't want my father's true intentions to taint the true celebration of the town's anniversary. I want to make things right. I want to start over on my own accord. So, let us celebrate officially. Next week. Sounds good to me. Those crowds will definitely be great to market my cult to. Would you give that a rest already? You're not advertising any of that during an important celebration. So who's gonna invite me to this festival, eh? Hey, new friend. I still don't know you. Emma, tell her that it's not illegal to pass flyers around. Uh... Enma, tell her that it is. <laughs> I love them all. One week later, during the day of the festival. Shovel butt, let's go, let's go. I want to go to this booth next. Jeez, hold up. After everything that just happened, you're digging it pretty well. We solved the mystery and saved our town. What's more to mope about? So simple-minded as always. <laughs> I'm really glad, though, that things turned out to be this way. It's all thanks to you. We all did our parts. You played a bigger role. Um, well, I want to flatter her, so... Mm, yeah, you're right. It was actually all me. <laughs> There's something called modesty. I'm so happy you came into my life. Well, that's really sudden. I'm feeling a lot of things, all right. It feels better to say it out loud. You've always been the type to say whatever's on your mind. Yeah, so why don't you do the same? Mm, all right, then. <gasps> I like you, Priscilla. W wait, that doesn't count. Do-over. What? I'm not gonna do over a confession. C uh, c confession Yeah, is it too early? <laughs> Get ready for my surprise attack. What the hell is that? <laughs> Priscilla practically jumped Shufflebutt for an embrace, nuzzling her head. Priscilla. Thank you. For everything. I have a family now. And most of all, you. Don't ever leave me. I won't. Everyone, if we may please have your attention. Captain Solari would like to present a few awards to a few outstanding individuals. Thank you, Chancellor. Captain Enma. Oh, she's captain now. That's so cute. Let us begin. I'm so happy for her. For being able to recognize a need for change after being stuck in the middle and staying true to the menace to the meaning of justice. 
On behalf of Brew, we present this badge of honor to you, Saris. Eh? Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! That's my best friend! You're embarrassing. <laughs> for battling against an unknown evil that threatened our town for many years. On behalf of Brew, we present the badge of this badge of honor to you, Mask, who was previously the Pumpkin Jester. There was a great deal of cheering. Eh? <laughs> no one seems shocked that it's Mask. It was part of my father's curse. People were brainwashed into fearing the unordinary. Now that it's gone, it's viewed once more as the town's prodigy. Thank you. I'll be sure to hold this badge near and dear. Don't push it. For being the most loyal and headstrong familiar despite the unfortunate upbringing, on behalf of the brew, we present this badge of honor to you, Shufflebutt. Thank you. Woo! Yeah! I own Shufflebutt! <laughs> Priscilla, you're so embarrassing! Please stop talking. Last but not least, for stepping in and taking charge for what was right, even when everyone else was against you. On behalf of Brew, we present this badge to you, Priscilla. Congratulations, Priscilla. You're the real hero here. You're amazing. I'm proud of you. Shufflebutt. I can't be taken seriously as a cult leader if I get some corny recognition from the police. I excuse me? This badge is the highest honor one could be acknowledged with after an extraordinary deed for the community. Hm. I'd rather be put on probation. You ungrateful little... Uh, thank you everyone. Please enjoy the rest of the festival. Edma quickly redirects the crowd back to the main events of the festival as the bickering continued. Amidst the group's antics, Shufflebutt is eventually reminded of their past concern. About oh, Brew. Is Brew still going to be a thing after what happened? Of course, witches and warlocks alike still need order, due to potentially dangerous people like Erebus. Despite how much Erebus meddled, Brew has always been defined by us, not him. And you can always depend on everyone as our trusted chancellor. Everyone, thank you. Everyone. Go away! I'm not pointing fingers, but you sure you can depend on Priscilla to help out too? Hmm? Of course we can. Obviously, after fighting against a terrible cult leader, Priscilla definitely wouldn't want to become one anymore. Right? <laughs> Are you serious? I'd rather have everyone worship me as their cult princess than be some witch officer in a goofy hat. <laughs> Can I? Oh man, is there a is there not a button? Because sometimes there's like a. No, that's to skip. Um, I don't know what the keys are. Because normally sometimes there's a button you can press to like view the pictures. Um... Ah, here it is. Hold on. H is to hide interface. Ah, there we go. <laughs> They're all so cute. And look, she's dragging us away with her. Oh, classic Priscilla. What is that between our teeth? A mushroom. I love these two together. They're so cute as well. Come on, Shufflebutt. We've got more flyers to put up. Hmm? Unbelievable. You are the most shallow heroine. I don't think they can hear you at this point, Celery. It's Solari, you! Hey, hey, don't come after me. Sarah, you'll protect me like last time, right? Huh? <laughs> Wait, Solari. Ow! You guys, people are watching. So, this is the future of our town. It seems our town has been left in good hands, hmm? Thanks to Shufflebutt and Priscilla, who are even more powerful than I. That much I can admit. May their magic carry on. <laughs> Is this the ending? Ah, okay. We definitely need to do mask then. So I'm gonna start. We're gonna skip. Um, for a feminine cat. Um, meow. I'm gonna skip. What is our name? Shufflebutt. 
So I'm going to skip all the checks that we've already gone through. And I'm only going to read what I haven't done. If I... Yeah, okay. It's only skipping stuff we've already seen. Okay, um, I don't want to be mean to her. There's no reason for me to be, even if I'm not going to, um... Uh, I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm not from around here. Eh, really? You don't get outsiders in this town often. Serious? I think- okay. Did we read through this? Yes, okay. Uh, I like mushrooms. Nice try! Wait, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> um, you should listen to him. You know what? Let's just pick some options that we haven't picked before, just to see what happens. Yeah, he sounds like a warrior nut. I don't want to hear- I don't want her to end up in jail one day for being reckless. I just want to find my own home already. It's okay, Shufflebutt. I know you're scared and lost. Oh, you're just scared and lost. My friends are your friends now. Uh, I'm not gonna be mean to her, though. Thank you. Um... Meow. Uh, right. Goodbye, Priscilla. It's nice meeting you again, Shufflebutt. Skip, skip, skip. My name is Meow? Huh? <laughs> okay, this it's the same thing. I don't think those choices have much of a... Well, maybe they do. I don't actually know. Okay, I think we've already gone through this. This next episode. Are you all right? Um... Actually, what did she say to this? There are other kinds of families. Yeah, yeah, friends and all that junk. It isn't the same. Maybe you've just got experience having close friends first in order for it to feel that way. I never will until I have my cult. Okay, stuff you've already gone through. This pumpkin jester. Um, she gives us the same dialogue. Doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I am now that you're here. Okay, never, never been better. Okay, so that second one causes him to stumble a little bit. Uh, well, hopefully our forces will capture him. We've gone through this. Uh, we did look for Saris last time. It doesn't really matter since I'm hoping to end up with the Jester guy, so... Mmm... Let's go with Solari. Shufflebutt? Hmm, almost didn't recognize you without Priscilla at your side. You could be by my side next time. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. What? What? What on earth? Uh, I, I wasn't concerned about that. Anyway, I need your help with something. What is it? I don't know where to get- I don't know where to go for half of these. Let me see. Grocery list? I'm surprised you don't know what most of these are. Have you never lived in a witch society? I don't know. I'm just a cat. You're what? What? I haven't been- I haven't been wearing a fake headband if that's what you think. Long story short, I'm a familiar who was cursed to stay in my cat form. Priscilla's the one who broke me out of that curse with mushrooms. I'm surprised she was selfless enough to do that. Believe me. It was not for selfless, selfless reasons, but I'm grateful for that. I don't remember much about my past, but she still gave me a home. I see. So that's your dynamic. <gasps> Hello, Bitbo. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Oh, you played the wolf among us. Oh. <laughs> Big B. He is very hot. Anyways, how was your stream? Did you have a good stream? Did you just start playing it? I haven't played it myself, but I vaguely recall how, like, the plot kind of goes. But yes, um... I think I own it, actually. I haven't played it myself, though. But yes, welcome, everybody. We are playing Witcheroo. It's not really a dating sim but there is some kind of romance I'm not sure I haven't um it's not obvious the romance so far but currently we are a cat familiar I see so that's your dynamic I shouldn't have been so quick to judge last week I assumed you were a friend that she managed to brainwash it's all right bygones yeah <clears throat> anyway, here, I've mapped out the stores you need to go to. Thankfully, it's not too many ingredients. 
Although I've never heard a few of these either. Uh, can we chat more? Huh? You wanna talk? For what? Fun? That's essentially the request, yeah. For what, though? You could talk to anyone else. Are you saying you don't want to talk to me? I, I, I'm not saying that. Wait, I, I mean, it, it's not like I... Uh, all right, what do you want to know? Uh, what do you do in your spare time? Mm, I do like to volunteer at shelters and organizations. I find it hard to relax on my own. I constantly need something to do. That sounds amazing, but you should rest sometimes. It's easier said than done. Uh, I can help you. Um, that sounds ridiculous, but thanks, I guess. I, I have to go now, for real. Alright, see you later. Uh, okay. You tried to kill it, or it wasn't by choice. Trust Brew to make a mountain out of a molehill. You assaulted us. I was just having some fun. You're alive, aren't you? Who are you, anyway? What does the town call me again? Pumpkin Jester. Pretty corny, if you ask me. I could have came up with, like, ten different names. Okay. Um. Are you coming on to me? I need to flirt a little with this man. Eh? <laughs> You're pretty and funny, but I'm not trying to flirt right now. Listen, I've had my eye on you for a while, and blah blah blah, we've gone through this. Um, I'm alright. Of course. Okay, next episode. Uh, I ran into someone. He told me some things. You two share the same opinion. Um. Uh, well, we did the Chancellor before, and she called us insane. Well, let's serious. That's right, his divine crystal detects lies, which is why he always tells the truth. If we can pry him a bit more about Brew, we may be able to solve the motive behind Masks' crimes. Okay, let's go. Right now, and we've already gone through that. What is this? Buddy just came asking for advice. Girlfriend is trying to sell a house for 750k. House fails to sell. Brokers ask to reduce price. The idea is rejected. Owners want to switch brokers. Brokers ask for 1% of 750 to release them from the contract. But he asks, do they have to pay? I said, what's the contract say? Uh, they read the contract, sends message to the broker that the contract says nothing but rewarding failure. Saved about 7,500. Broker says they may pay whatever they wish. Hmm. I know nothing about the housing market. <laughs> I'm tempted to pay, say $200 for gas, but also zero for attempting the 1% scam. Hmm, I wouldn't know. Okay, um, we did ask him about who qualifies as a recruit, so let's just ask about the pumpkin jester's past. Besides getting perfect scores on every test, he excelled greatly with magic. Granted, he did get in trouble a few times for experimenting with specialized magic during his youth. Typically, children don't get a true grasp of their magic until adulthood, but the jester was barely a teenager when he pursued his own kind of magic. Wow. Remember, though, he's a criminal now, so he's obviously very dangerous. Still, even Brew recognized his potential, hence why he received the invitation. Okay, and I think it goes back to the usual. <laughs> so, who do I want to go to the festival with? Well, there's this guy with green hair. Would you pay them for their effort? And or expense. Uh, I mean, I would cover their expenses, but I don't know if I would pay more than that. So, there's this guy with green hair. Huh? Who's that? You've got to be kidding me. Mm -hmm. You have your eyes on someone already, Shufflebutt. Uh, yeah, it's best to just keep this a secret. Okay, so that doesn't say anything. This is stuff we've already gone through. Uh, we're buddies now. Uh, we'll see you later, right? Uh, we can do this. I'm assuming it's only the ending that slightly differs? I could be wrong, I don't actually know. We'll see. One week later during the day of the festival. Hey! 
<laughs> Let me get this straight. You're asking me to accompany you to the festival. When we're both already here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me quick save. It's supposed to be a date. Sheesh, what's the... <laughs> Sorry. I'm fucking... I'm basically... Oh, God. Sorry, this man has me stuttering so bad. <laughs> Sheesh, what's with that matter-of-fact tone? It's common sense to ask way earlier first. Wait a second. Are you being shy? No! Why would you tomato me, Bale? <laughs> Do not shame me. <laughs> hey, cut that out already. <laughs> it's so cute, and here I thought you were the bowl type. <laughs> Does it matter which one I pick? That's so cute. Seriously, cut that out. Besides, you just caught me off guard. I think it's sweet that you held out for this long just to ask me out. You sure it'll do good for your reputation being seen around with me. More tomatoes, Veo? No, 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 don't, don't, don't. <laughs> don't encourage him. <laughs> Can I not be allowed to appreciate fictional men? <laughs> also, you're so nice. I don't think I would pay them anything to try for trying to pull a fast one. Ah, no. Please, not even a little bit, please. <laughs> I see all those like egg and like egg and tomato redeems, and I am afraid. With Victoriette's father's curse broken, no one's brainwashed anymore to see you as a villain like before. Quit beating around the bush, or else I'll just have to make fun of you again. <sighs> Mass traps Shufflebutt against the wall of a nearby building, pressing his hands against the stone. He can't be done us! His head lowers near Shufflebutt's neck. I'm dead. I have ascended into the heavens. This is what I wanted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're so cute, Shufflebutt. Acting all high and mighty after that pathetic attempt to sweep me off my feet. I'll teach you how to do it properly. So how's this? Is this what you wanted? Uh -uh. I like you too. And I accept your proposal too. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay, and this is the same, I'm assuming, where everyone gets their awards. <laughs> I like to be well armed for an occasion. Noted. <laughs> Someone do that to her, it's a fantasy of hers. <laughs> It's, it, I don't know, you gotta get the time and place right. It's gotta be, it's gotta be the right moment to, you know. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Bubby Boo. Uh, about Brew. I guess this is gonna be the same. I think maybe it's just that, like, little festival moment that is different, which is fine. Because, you know, um... They had like what a month to make this game, so to make something with like romance where you have different interests, it's uh, it's difficult to make a branch. Uh, but this so far is pretty much the same. I think. Okay, yeah, it is the same. Yeah. Okay. Question is, do I want to? Um... Okay, so I have like 15 minutes left. Well, not 15 minutes. No, I do have 15, roughly 15. Uh, we're gonna go and play another one. I don't know if... Alright, okay, I'm definitely not gonna finish it, but we're gonna check it out, okay? We're gonna check it out a little bit. It's called The Wrong Evelyn. Uh, that's the one I wanted to do next. Supposedly, it's quite funny. Only 15? 
Yeah, um, this event is like everyone, everyone's time slot is like two hours. The music for this one is also very bobbing. I'm just waiting for the EXE to pop up in OBS so I can switch to it. There it is. Yeah, there was, um, it's called Paranoia. There was like a whole bunch of streamers getting together. And some of us are streaming visual novels from the Spooktober visual novel jam. Other people are doing other things. I know there's like studio partnerships and all that. Uh, you know what? I'll actually link it to you if I can just pull up the link quickly. But yeah, in about roughly 15 minutes, I'm gonna have to go raid the person in the next time slot. But yes, um, I don't know what this- I've forgotten what this game is about, but like, I picked it because it sounded interesting. So we're just gonna start quickly. But I have a start at my nearly midnight snack with Moo aka 11pm. Okay, well, you know what? Um, how's about this? We will do the raid, and then like, maybe like, 10 minutes after I will start another stream if you so wish to have your midnight snack with me because humans are creatures of habit and then you know what I'll probably just try to finish the wrong Evelyn anyways please enter your name shuffle but oh this is bopping I gotta turn you down though you're so loud that's good right oh, this is so cool I like the music in here. So let's say we do have an ex, which I will refer to as Xavier from here on out for privacy reasons. It's up to Xavier to decide if he will be visiting the top floor of the Fraction Hotel or to stay in the lobby where all those comfy sofas are. Being the intelligent algebraic expression that he is, Xavier has decided to visit the top room, for that is where the objectively better furniture, namely the bed, is located. Oh my god, are we gonna learn about bed mass? <laughs> you sat there, fidgeting it. Oh my god, y equals m squared over q over b minus 2? Oh my god, what was it? Uh, x equals... <sighs> I don't even remember now. Oh my god, what is the quadratic uh, formula anymore? Quadratic equation? X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Useless knowledge that lives in my brain, but whatever. You sat there, fidgeting in your seat, listening to the never-ending ramblings of an obvious madman. This classroom was always a drag, yet on this particular day it seemed just a tad excessive. Oh, I didn't change my category. Um... I don't think this game has a category, so I'm just gonna switch to games and demos. Don't think it matters too much, really, at this point, what category I'm in, since I've got, like, ten minutes left. I'll see if my porridge is finished cooking. I have fried bread. Ooh! I love fried bread. This classroom was always a drag, yet on this particular day, it seemed just a tad excessive. Of course, for someone like Xavier, comfort was not something he'd see during his everyday travels through the realm of Algebropolis. You dart your eyes up at the clock. Any second now, is what you would have said three minutes ago, but apparently even the bell forgot the school is in fact supposed to end at some point. Have you ever used that equation in real life ever? No, I've never had to use the quadratic formula outside of math class. Surely it's just heard your inner thoughts and acted accordingly. The bell. Already? That's a real shame. We didn't even get through more than three sentences into my lesson plan. And I spent all last night writing some of my best material. 
Well, all right, let's put a pin in Xavier's marriage troubles for now. But remember, guys, you've got his divorce papers due first thing tomorrow morning. And I can tell you from experience that that's not something you want to save till last minute. <laughs> okay. Almost instantly, the class erupted in chatter. They didn't seem all that keen on getting out of here so soon. But then again, that's to be expected. These people have known each other for decades. Or, well, a decade, with some, si some single-digit number of extra years tucked on at the end there. Because, you know, high school. Of course, a newcomer like you didn't have the chance to form any meaningful connections during the pivotal preschool phase. A detrimental setback, but one that can be easily overlooked when it allows you to be the first one out the door. The only equation I used was to find the circumference of a circle, and that was for pottery class. Oh, hmm. Already all set and all ready to go. You've become a master of hiding the pain. Eh? What? Twenty dollars? Oh, wait, that's just my twenty dollars on my seat. I must have slipped out of my pocket during class or something. Bummer. Wait, my twenty dollars? Grabbing the money, you stuff it back into your hoodie pocket and hold on tightly. Can't be losing you just yet, little fella. You're still needed for that very important mission I was telling you about earlier. If it wasn't already obvious, that wasn't hyperbole. You actually did explain your plan to that $20 bill just this morning. And so, you gradually make your way through the clusters of fellow students who actually have friends, forced to listen to their joyous ramblings of how much friendly fun they're having. Oh, they've been having all the while. While any other day you take this opportunity to wallow in your own gloom, the representation of what you also desire seemingly mocking you from afar. This time, you don't even give them a second glance. Could it be that you finally realize that true happiness comes from within, and you must discover the joys present in your own life experience? <laughs> no. No, the reason you're so eager to get out of those big school doors is that you've gotten the chance to join them in their social adventures. Finally hit with the crisp breeze of the outside world, you pause momentarily to catch your breath. You don't spend very much time in this realm, but the brief occasions when you do traverse it, it is always a treat. Back to business. You hustle and bustle your way behind the school and off to the side near the dumpsters. Whoever wrote this, I love you. <laughs> Waiting for you there is your preferred and only method of transport. The hover scooter. The hover scooter? The actual brand name is something like Hub Scoot or, you know, basically just what it's normally called with a few letters missing because illiteracy makes good branding. <laughs> Since this is your first year at this school, all your fellow school all your fellow classmates had already chosen their scooter lockup spots a few semesters ago. You know, at one of the actual scooter racks and not a tree. Oh no. The muffled sounds of the soon to be massive student stampede can be heard gaining volume within the school walls. You imagine yourself as the scarred and mentally anguished lone survivor of a zombie apocalypse, and the barricade with which to hold them at bay is wearing thin. You've got to move quickly, soldier. They're out for blood. As if it truly was the dawn of an apocalypse, you rush through the untying process and hop on your hover scooter without a moment of hesitation. And so, your journey has begun at the exact place it all began. Uh, no, wait, that statement only works at the end of your journey, doesn't it? Well, your journey is going to be a long one, and the outdated model of your hover scooter isn't getting you there any quicker. It's been quite some time since humanity made the breakthrough into hover technology. Yet despite those technological advancements, it seems like your part of town hasn't been receiving any substantial updates. You could only look out at the futuristic skyline miles away from the comfort of your quaint little neighborhood, wishing you could be part of it, part of all they got going on there. It is a nice neighborhood. But this is the world of the future, and your humble little town seem to be left in the dust. As much as it pains you to admit, you feel like you can actually relate to a geographically localized community. That's gotta be a new low for you. However, that $20 shuffling in your pocket is running laps through your mind. It's not the value itself that's causing the commotion of butterfly proportions within your stomach, but rather what it entails. and those butterflies just doubled in size. Still a distance away, you slowly scoot off your hover scooter and shove it behind some nearby bushes. No luck finding any trees to hook up, hook it up on around here. This 
The building casts a shadow of doubt on the plan you've so meticulously crafted in your mind. Path Blaster You've been coming here ever since you discovered its existence nearly a week into the school year. One of the days you decided to actually be adventurous for once in your life, taking a different path home than you usually would. It led you to stumble upon your very own personal safe haven. Let's face it, it's not any kind of surprise why you'd be drawn to such a place. I mean, it's got practically everything a closet otaku such as yourself would like to keep in said closet, exposed on the shelves of a moderately sized building. It's got things you never thought you'd need, or things you never even knew existed in the first place. Taking a deep breath, you slowly get within opening distance to the door. Your gung-ho zombie survivor attitude from earlier is nowhere to be seen on your face now. Your grip tightens on that 20 buck allowance you've been saving up since last week. The pain to hold off spending thus Oh, the pain to hold off spending thus far has been a grueling one. But if your plan comes to a fruition, that pain will be a long forgotten memory. With this cash, you can now evolve into what's most commonly referred to as a paying customer. <laughs> oh my god, that noise. Also, I should probably turn it down just a little bit. Stepping inside, the usual scene greets you, although you can't shake the more stressful aura coating your soul. The anime girls lining the covers of the manga section grow strangely dim. They're beckoning you to skim through their totally wholesome contents, just as persistently as they always have, yet your gaze is transfixed on the true reason for this particular visit. Yep, it's a girl. A real one. The love of your prepubescent life. Her name? Evelyn. She's the cashier slash self-stalker slash spill cleaner slash basically every other job you could think of when it comes to managing a small shop like Path Blaster. Except, you know, being the manager. She was still just an employee, minimum wage kind of deal. An employee which captured your heart the instant you first lay eyes on her. Which was saying a lot since you were standing so far away and peeking behind a shelf. The lesson here is distance means nothing when you're insanely hot. <laughs> Just ignoring all the red flags. The scantily clad anime maidens were coating those very shelves, yet it's this real woman who's gotten your full attention. At least, this means there's still some hope left for you. <laughs> With a very big emphasis on the hope. See, you quite like this girl, and while you've admittedly not that... And while you're admittedly not that creepy, it's only because your social awkwardness prevents you from doing literally anything. You've been coming to this shop for weeks, yet you've never made a single purchase. This girl doesn't even have any idea who you are, let alone if you're boyfriend material. It's not like you have no cash in your name either. Well, it's a little bit off that. You'd get allowance on the regular, sure, then you'd go off and spend it way too quickly on random junk like... Junk food. I mean, it's in the name. You should know better. So by the time you go to the Path Blaster, you'd only have a few bucks left to spend. Now, your crush works at this register, so in order to purchase one of the many astoundingly niche products at your local Path Blaster establishment, you've got to do the sacred act of social interaction. The girl you so desperately desire would be forced to be made aware of your spending habits and what's normally within your budget is. Butter-flavored bubblegum. Officially dubbed Bottlegum. 89 grams of sugar per serving. Oh my god, Bottlegum. <laughs> that's a lot of sugar. Is, is, it, is that not? Yeah, that's a lot of sugar. And one of eight pens which you have... And one of eight pens which have the head of some anime girl on top which go... Yeah! Whenever you press down on it. The mere thought of walking up to the counter with such items was far too much for your feeble mind to wrap itself around. No. You needed to wait. You had finally saved up enough money to purchase something of actual value, something that would at the very least paint you in a good light in the eyes of your self-proclaimed soulmate. Something that would make it a bit easier to maybe just maybe get a casual chit-chat going on between you and Miss Beautiful before succumbing to the embarrassment and slinking away back out the door, never to be seen again. The $20 residing within your pocket at this very moment in time has opened up a whole new world of shopping possibilities. The 
type of possibilities you could bring to an unassuming cashier and watch as they develop a wonderful impression of your taste. <laughs> Something cool. <gasps> oh my god, he's so cool! Girls love a guy who knows where the good stuff is. You decide to steer clear of the blatantly obnoxious. Uh, I'm just gonna check quickly if the person I'm supposed to raid is streaming yet. Mmm, doesn't seem like it. Maybe they're waiting to start on the dot. I was too anxious and like needed to start like 10 minutes early. But I will keep an eye out. Let me actually just double check the schedule. I swear to God, it was this person. Um, <laughs> pretty sure. Yes. Okay. We'll give it a minute or two. <laughs> this, of course, means that the fabled anime section is off limits. <laughs> I just realized there is go to bed poo poo. <laughs> There's probably a whole bunch of um, references that I missed because I didn't look. A true tragedy for sure. There's always the gamer option, but it's quite risky. You can go up to that counter with some Xavier Box cases, and there's a 50% chance Evelyn exclaims she's a radical gamer girl and jumps into your arms, or she completes your purchase without a word and later vomits in the storage room. You do have enough dough for a proper game now, so it all depends on how daring you think you are. Uh, venture into the gamer realm or scope the rest of the store? Let's try scoping. It's technically 11 o'clock now on my on my computer. They are streaming now. Okay. Okay. Which is fine because... Uh, well, they're starting soon. Mm. I was trying to contemplate whether it is polite to wait until they're like actually starting starting. But I do have like, I have like two minutes until like I'm forced to run an ad break. But yes. Cause I don't want to, um, I don't know if it would be, I'm trying to figure out a way to phrase this. I don't know if you guys would be okay with like sitting there until that person starts. Um, I also don't want to pressure- I don't want to, like, make it feel like I'm pressuring them to start earlier. Because that always happens to me when I'm on my starting screen and, like, someone <laughs> raids me. I'm like, oop. Because I obviously want to thank them and acknowledge the raid, but, like, yeah. Um, <laughs> so... I don't know, me and my socially anxious ass is kind of stuck right now. But I suppose, or maybe they're waiting for you. Oh my God, don't make this worse, Bayo. What if they are? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, you know what, let's just do it. <laughs> Cause what if they are? What if they are waiting for me? I, you poisoned my thoughts. You poison my thoughts. Uh... So you know what? We're just gonna start. <laughs> I don't know what the summer of 58 is, but I'm assuming it's a spooky game. But yeah, I will... We're gonna go raid. And then I will... See you guys there. And then probably in like five or ten minutes, I'll start another stream to at least finish this game because I want to see how it goes. And then bedtimes. Um, but yes, the ads want to start in like 30 seconds. I'm not going to let them. So I will start the raid now and I will see you guys there.